Hey, Mountain Kids, this is Rob Wade with a little more outdoor core for you, grade level four. So I'm uh, focusing this camera up on these black cottonwoods, which are the largest riparian tree that grows along our waterways up here in the mountains. And of course you can see that these leaves are all turning. We are now into October. And as the leaves turn, finally they will let loose from the tree and slowly lift right, drift down until they fall into the creek. And I want you to notice this. Here's a black cottonwood leaf, leaf right here, kind of a heart-shaped thing. Landed nice and uh, flat, and it's floating on down through down Silver Creek, which is a little creek near where I live. But what I want you to focus on is as all of these leaves fall into the creek, there are a lot of organisms that then will take advantage of all of these dead leaves that have fallen in. You can see a lot of leaves here um, have sunk all the way down to the bottom of the creek. Some of them are, um, well, there's different species, definitely a lot of cottonwoods. And as I come all the way over here, you get to see actually quite a gathering of these floating leaves. Now, the reason I'm making a big deal out of this is because nature never wastes anything at all. When trees uh, drop their needles and their leaves in the forest, they call that forest litter. And we don't call this creek litter, but as all of these leaves and needles and things fall into the creek, they are eaten, they're used, they decompose, and there's actually one of the macroinvertebrate groups of, uh, of insects. They, um, they're called shredders. And shredder macroinvertebrates count on these leaves falling into the creek so that they can go and shred them or tear them apart. And then they eat them. And, uh, and of course things eat those shredders. And so it's part of the way that the energy moves through the creek. So again, you have the sun way over here behind that tree that is uh, shining down on these trees. And these trees are making food from the sun with the chlorophyll. And that's how the energy gets to the trees. And then when the trees lose their leaves and let go, and these leaves fall down into the creek, and then they are shredded by the shredders, then that energy moves to the macroinvertebrates. And then from those macros, you can get right into a trout, as well as other organisms that will eat them. So, uh, so this is a little bit of a look at the phenomena, a couple of phenomena, uh, both the phenomenon of fall and deciduous trees losing their leaves and dropping them into the creek if they're riparian, and the phenomenon of shredders catching the energy that came from the sun to the cottonwoods and other trees. And uh, after they take in the energy, it passes on when something eats them. So I want you to go out and check this out at your own creek near your own house um, and see if you can see any of those shredders at work. But look at what's falling in there and, and uh, learn a thing or two. So get on out there, mountain kids. Take care.